My name is uh, Aaron. I'm a senior staff engineer at um, IonQ. And uh, what I work on at IonQ is on building uh, computers that can scale. So really trying to increase the scale of our quantum computers. Um, but I'll start by talking about IonQ in general. So IonQ um, is a full stack quantum computing company and we build our quantum computers out of uh, single ions. So the qubits are single ions and ions are incredibly good qubits because we can stack them in a chain and we can control them incredibly well. And uh, just as an example of how well we can control them, the most powerful quantum computer that exists today is our AQ25 uh, system, which basically means we have not only 25 qubits in our system, but those 25 qubits operate at, at the high level that's required uh, for a 25 qubit quantum computation. Now, the idea is to keep on increasing it keep on increasing our computational power, not just by increasing the number of qubits, but by keeping the quality of those, these, those qubits high. And in fact, increasing the quality of the qubits because you need better qubits as your systems become more complicated. Now, the only way to continue doing that, uh, and it's independent of which system you're on, is to take lots of small quantum computers and connect them together into a large network. Um, and uh, this kind of idea was pioneered um, by, among other people, our two founders, um, Chris and Jung Sang. And so this is really something that's in the DNA of, of IMQ from the very beginning. Um, and so uh, how do you scale up with ions or how do you start going multi-core with ions? There are two general methods you can do that. The first method uh, is uh, what we call um, the reconfigurable modular quantum architecture, which basically means we take these chains of ions and we move them around. So we take two chains and we can merge them together and then we can split them. And so we keep the chains relatively small so we can have good control, um, but allow the chains to interact. And that uh, that's a great solution, but the one I really wanna talk about now is uh, the um, solution of using uh, photonic interconnects. And what's really nice about photonic interconnects is um, that once you get uh, information into a fiber, it's really easy to route it around. And so you can have very, very high connectivity between the qubits. So one advantage of uh, uh, qubits on a single chain is that they can all talk to each other very easily. It is one of the big advantages of ions. But once you go into multi-chain, um, you lose that connectivity. And so to get that connectivity back again, you want to go into uh, a, a fiber uh, network. Um, and, and again, this is where ions um, are really, really good because ions emit visible light and visible light is very easy to get into a fiber or relatively easy to get into a fiber um, and route through a you know, fairly standard optical network. So we, we kind of have the tools uh, to do that. Um, so what do we need in order to get uh, a complete network going? Um, we need low latency interconnects to collect light from the ions and uh, basically entangle the, the quantum computers with each other. We need uh, protocols to manage how the information flows in the system. And those protocols are very, very different from the protocols you would have on an internet kind of network, because now you need things to work extremely fast and you need the entire machine to work as one computer. Um, and we also need uh, methods for multi-core compilation because at the end of the day, when we wanna distribute the task, we wanna kind of use the, the interconnects as, as little as possible. We don't want to move information around too much. And we know that all of these things kind of exist and, and are being sort of developed for classical computers. When you want to have a supercomputer, you need low latency interconnects, you need protocols to manage information flow, and you, you, you need methods for compilation. You know, none of these things sort of exist uh, out of the box. Even for classical computers, you have, you have to kind of use very, very specific uh, protocols. If you tried to run uh, a supercomputer through the internet, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be, you know, nearly as fast as you want it to be. You need things to be close together. You need things to work extremely fast. And so we're, we're uh, working on all of these uh, different components in order to uh, start scaling up uh, using an optical network. Thank you.